क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ न्यूमेरिकल बेस्ड ऑन आरोसिन जेड ट्रांसफॉर्म एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ प्रॉब्लम नंबर 1 basically function gives a finite response may be at z equals to infinity or may be at z equals to 0 or may be in between so this is what we are going to check by using roc so we'll study a first numerical question problem number 1 determine the z transform and their roc of the following signal and the x of n is given uh, 1 2 3 4 5 are the sample basically these are the amplitudes of the function or you can say the amplitude of that given instance now how to identify the instance basically this arrow defines or gives us idea about here we have origin or you can say the origin at origin the amplitude is 1 now on the right hand side of origin we always have a positive instance and on the left hand side we have a negative means what at 0 amplitude is 1 next instance is 1 at instant 1 amplitude is 2 at instant 2 amplitude is 3 and at 3 it is 4 at instant 4 amplitude is 5 so this up given values shows us or gives us values of amplitudes and how to identify the location of that amplitude just this arrow gives us the idea about the locations if this arrow is placed at 5 which means all the samples are present on the left hand side means what the sample value is starting from 0 then minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 so at minus 4 we have amplitude 1 likewise we will solve the numerical based on this we will study it in next videos but right now the question is this here the origin at origin the amplitude is 1 and on the right hand side the positive instance are given and the respective amplitudes are also mentioned now we have to find out the z transform of this given signal or given sequence and then we'll move on to the roc now the function or the sample x of n is 1 2 3 4 5 are the amplitudes of that function and the, this is the place of origin how to identify if the arrow is marked under any sample value then the sample value shows us or gives us the origin location or the origin place now here we have origin and all the samples are present on the right hand side of that origin which means we have a positive sam instance now next part we are going to find out or we are going to apply z transform so according to definition of z transform z transform of any discrete time signal x of n is represented as x of z and the definition is summation value starts from minus infinity to infinity and which term we are going to solve the x of n into z raised to minus n basically how many samples we have we have a total five samples the first sample is at 0 and the last sample is at 5 which means we have n values and it starts from 0 and varies up to 4 so of course the summation value also changes from 0 to 4 now what we are going to do i am going to split this summation sign or you can say i am going to expand this summation how to expand summation is basically the addition of all the samples so if you do the reverse process then we can separate all the sample value and the samples values based on n equals to 0 to 4 so first of all i'll substitute n equals to 0 look at it if i substitute n equals to 0 then x of 0 i, I can write but next part is we have z raised to minus n if this n is replaced by 0 then anything raised to 0 is always 1 so we'll write only x of 0 then the next sample location is x of n value is 1 so if x of n equal to 1 that is we can write x of 1 and this n is also replaced by 1 so we have 
z raised to minus 1. Similarly, we will expand or we will split this summation up to 4. Now, what is the next step? Basically, this is the location of origin. This arrow shows that or gives us the origin value. The, at origin, this function is having amplitude 1. Now, the origin is present on the leftmost bit, which means all the rightmost bit having a positive instance. Means what? The next instance is 1, 2, 3, 4. Which means at if I substitute n equals to 1, then x of 1 means amplitude at instant 1 is 2. If I substitute n equals to 2, which means or which gives us idea about amplitude of x of n at n equals to 2 is 3. Similarly, this if I substitute n equals to 3, then it gives us idea about x of 3, which is 4. And similarly for 5 also, which means what is the value of x of 0? x of 0 value is 1. What is the value of x of 1? It is 2. And next x of 2 is 3 x of 3 is 4 and x of 4 is 5. So, I am going to substitute all the values in my formula. And this is nothing but the z transform given function. Now, what we are going to do? Now, the next part is we have to find out the inverse z transform. What we are going to do? We have to find out the ROC of given function. Now, what I can do is just here we have z raised to minus 1. So, you can write this one as 2 by z also. So, my equation will be a 2 by z. So, so what I will get 2 by z plus 3 by z raised to 2 plus 4 by z cube and last one is 5 by z to the power 4. Now, how to identify the ROC of given function? Because we have already calculated the x of z. On the last page. basically how to identify the law roc for given x of z is important just simply substitute z equals to 0 and z equals to infinity value if i substitute z equals to 0 in my whole equation then what will happen okay this will give us a value 1 but what about next 2 by z which means 2 by 0 is infinity 3 by z which means this will also gives us infinity this will also gives us infinity and this will also gives us infinity which means so 1 plus infinity always gives us infinite result which means at z equals to 0 this x of z will gives us infinite result now similarly we will substitute z equals to infinity what will happen this one will be remain as it is but 2 by infinity anything upon infinity is always 0 so 2 by z infinity is 0 3 by z which means here also i'm going to substitute infinity so 3 by infinity is also 0 and so on which means what i will get 1 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 and the result is 1 so my conclusion is this x of z gives us infinite result when at z equals to 0 and gives us finite result when z equals to infinity. So, what will be your result or what will be your conclusion? So, the conclusion is or what you are going to write that I am going to tell you. This signal x of z is stable or gives a finite result when its ROC is up to z equals to infinity but except z equals to 0. Or you can say that the ROC of given function or given signal x of z is available over the entire region of z plane where z equals to infinity, z equals to 0 is also counted. But the last sentence is important. I will repeat. The ROC of given x of z is available over the entire region of z plane except z equals to 0. As I told you, the last word is important, except z equals to 0. Means, just ignore z equals to 0. Rest of the period, which is available on right hand side up to infinity, will give us a finite result. So, I am going to write that statement.
so the statement is the roc of given function x of z is available over the entire region of z plane but except z equals to 0 so this statement is important while after calculating the roc so similarly we'll solve the next numericals will have a different types of roc for next three numericals also or next coming numericals also so thank you for watching this video stay tuned with ikeda and subscribe ikeda for further more videos thank you so much